Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Avalon's Summer 2023 White Coat Ceremony, where we celebrate the next generation of medical professionals who will soon be wearing these fashionable lab coats. I'm Zyra, an MD3 student here at Avalon. And I'm Hazem, an MD4 student here at Avalon. We're honored to be your co-host for today's event. This evening, we will witness the presentation of white coats to our students, a symbol of their dedication to practice medicine and patient care. Before we begin, let us take a moment to acknowledge and thank the families, friends, and your loved ones who have supported these students through their academic careers. Your love, guidance, and encouragement have played a vital role in their success. We would also like to thank the faculty and staff of Avalon University of Medicine who have provided the knowledge and guidance necessary to prepare these students for their future roles as healthcare professionals. Our time in med school was made unforgettable by the friendly faculty and the welcoming atmosphere of, Avalon, of the Avalon community. In addition to their boundless support to their students, Avalon also continues to become a better place for students to get one step closer to achieving their dreams of getting their white coats and becoming doctors. Now let's talk about these white coats. They're not just any old lab coat. They're a symbol of the knowledge, skill, and dedication that you've all worked so hard to achieve. And let's be honest, it's also look, makes you look very official. You can use that to your advantage when you're trying to impress your friends. The White Coat Ceremony is a rite of passage for our medical students and marks the beginning of their transition from students to physicians. By donning the White Coat, we as students feel to serve our patients and provide them with necessary care from birth to death and everything in between. Once again, congratulations to each and one of you, and welcome to the beginning of your journey in medicine. So to begin today's event, I would like to welcome the president of Avalon University School of Medicine, Dr. Samuel Pate. Please give him a warm welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, welcome everyone to um, Avalon's uh, University's White Coat Ceremony for the May 2023 semester. I hope everyone has had a great week uh, that's leading up to this uh, wonderful day. So before I begin my speech, I would like to thank our distinguished guests that are uh, in attendance today. Thank you, Mr. Javier Silvania, the Minister of Health, Nature, and Environment, and Minister of Finance of Corsa. And thank you, Dr. Servan Kelly, the Inspectorate General of Health of Corsa, for being here on this very special day for Avalon. Your presence is greatly appreciated, and all of us at Avalon are very thankful for uh, you being in attendance. Today marks the beginning of an exciting and extremely rewarding journey for all of our new Avalon students. And I would like to officially welcome you to Avalon University School of Medicine. With the semester beginning this past Monday on Orientation Day, I hope that you have settled into your new environment and have begun to get accustomed to your new home, away from home. For all of you, you are coming from different parts of the world to begin medical school. And to all of us at Avalon, this shows us that you, have, you are determined, dedicated, and committed to your career in medicine with the aspiration of being the best doctor that you could be. You have worked hard and have shown great discipline thus far in your lives to get to this point. So please make the most of this opportunity. I could confidently say that Curaçao is one of the best countries in the Caribbean and is truly a gem of an island. Medical school, medical school can be stressful and will keep you busy, but to have the amenities and offerings of Corsa, I hope that this will support you well during your time spent in Corsa. <clears throat> Receiving your white coat today is significant and has great meaning. All of you have chosen the great profession of medicine, and if you work hard, and you, you will be rewarded greatly at the end. Medicine is not only a profession that takes a lot of discipline and determination, but through the entire process, it will build strong character that will last a lifetime. The entire process of becoming a well-rounded physician for all of you begins this week. And one of the most important times during your medical career is the time spent here in Coruscant. So please work hard and follow your guidance of your excellent staff and faculty. The success of our graduates thus far is due to prior Avalon students starting on the right foot. And if all of you start on the right foot, I know you will do great. 
I can confidently say that the success of our graduates is due to working hard and building a solid foundation of the medical courses you'll be taking. Our deans and professors have put a lot of work into ensure that you will be prepared once you have finished the first half of your medical school here in Corsa. The guidance, support, sound education will be there, but please do your part and work hard. To end my speech, I would like to say please make sure that all of your priorities are set in order. Education is your number one priority, but that does not mean that you cannot enjoy the beautiful island of Corsa. As a medical student, you'll be working extremely hard, but take advantage of the great things Corsa has to offer. The way I see it is that our lives are divided into chapters, and this will be your new chapter in your lives. Being an Avalon student is not only about being educated and trained, but this is also the time to develop into young professionals that exhibit strong character. Avalon's core values are education, empathy, integrity, commitment, and respect. Please remember these core values as an Avalon student, because the goal of our program is not only to receive a quality education, but to also develop into great human beings that have the ability of serving communities locally and around the world while maintaining the highest standard of professionalism and ethical behavior. It is always a great pleasure to officially welcome our new Avalon students, and congratulations to all of you. All is what Avalon University look forward to being part of your journey through medical school. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Samir Fateh. And our next speaker for tonight will be Dr. Servin Kelly. He's the current Inspector General of Health of in Curacao and teaches epidemiology and head of epidemiology faculty at Avalon. So please give him a warm welcome. Yes, uh, good evening, uh, Excellency, uh, Minister, uh, President of the School, uh, Dr. Samir Fateh, Dr. Aja, Dr. Bala, Deans of the School, and uh, Associate Deans, and um, everybody, students, um, parents, families, friends, invited um, and present, uh, a warm welcome. Uh, this is the uh, warm welcome we always have here at, uh, at uh, Avalon. And um, this is a great day in your uh, career. Uh, you started your career already with the greatest day when you chose to come to Avalon. Then you had a second uh, great day that then started here uh, last Monday. And uh, this is a um, jump start and a change in your life. Um, from the point of inspectorate of health, um, sometimes it's good to be in contact with inspectorate of health, sometimes it's not a good sign. Uh, depends on why uh, you are in contact with an inspectorate of health. Uh, but in order to get to that point, you will have to get to uh, today. And uh, there is one thing that is always there, and that is your uh, focus. Uh, you choose to become a physician. Uh, you chose a, uh, a profession where you have uh, a lot of autonomy in what, to, what you do, but you must keep always in front that you do this for uh, the patients. In order to do that for the patient, you must be uh, well prepared. And uh, your preparedness depends on a couple of things, of which uh, one is knowledge, but it starts actually with your um, focus and your attitude, the habits you have, the habits you form. And habits, uh, they uh, actually form your character at the end of the day, and that forms your attitude again. But it starts with your thought. And your character becomes a habit of thought. Everything you think will be either positive or negative. There are no neutral thoughts. So uh, be careful what you think. But you can govern your thoughts, control your thoughts. If you keep them positive, and you must do that from day one, you will build a uh, strong character. You will build the uh, core values that uh, Dr. Samir Fateh mentioned uh, in his speech. And you will become the physician that the patients uh, need. 
So, and that starts with every uh, uh, thought you have, the way you think. If you think positive, you will be bearing positive fruits and positive results, and you will foster your self-confidence and thereby uh, foster the confidence of others in you so that the patients can rely on you. So when you start uh, here at Avalon, um, you will get a climate where uh, faculty and also uh, college students, they are to support you, they, are, they will uh, carry you, and will, when needed, they will uh, push you, when uh, needed, they will, uh, uh, let's say, hold you a little bit, but it's all in your uh, best will. And in that sense, uh, your thoughts must be positive. They must include uh, your planning of rest and work, rest and work, like Dr. Samir Patel said, enjoy uh, the island. Now, this is a very great island. Um, but also uh, make time for your study. And uh, of course, there are three ways to um, pass all your exams. Uh, number one is uh, you start in time, and uh, otherwise you can start in time, but if you don't have any uh, possibility to start in time, there's always a third option. So you can start uh, in time, and that means starting early. So actually you have no choice, but you choose for it, so enjoy the ride. And you can enjoy the ride if you think positive about the ride and keep positive about the ride. And when they, one day, if you're a little bit uh, pessimistic, don't worry, think a positive thing and this too shall come to pass. And uh, mind you, nobody died from studying medicine. We're all here. So if we survived, you can survive. And we're glad we're happy. So why can't you be? Okay, success and welcome. <laughs>
especially if you keep your brain in the school. And I'm sure you can do that. All of you have brilliant brains, you have amazing abilities, and you have this fun motivation. So what else do you need to achieve your result and to achieve your goal? You can do you can do something you to find yourself and which you create for yourself are very important. And now please look around and notice how many incredible people around you, your parents, your friends, senior students, the faculty, staff, Miss Charissa. Everybody is here for you to support you and to provide you all assistance at Avalon you are in a wonderful environment. Here, you are surrounded by everything you need. And you have a great resources. You have great, amazing teachers. And very warm climate, not only outside on the wonderful island of Curaçao, but also very, very warm climate inside in the Avalon community, despite our cold seas. I think you agree with me that sailing to the shore of your dreams is much more pleasant if you are in a warm ocean than in a cold, stormy river. You are in the right place, guys. Believe in yourself, never give up, and enjoy your journey. Good luck. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Andrew. Our second last speaker for this evening is Dr. Tariq Ahmed, Associate Professor of Avalon's Clinical Skill Department. Please give him a warm welcome. Okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. A very uh, warm welcome to Avalon University School of Medicine, White Coat Ceremony, May 2023. Um, my deepest congratulations to all of you. You form of our large co uh, cohort of the medical students to date. I personally uh, knew that today is a very important moment for you and your loved ones, and we are glad to be able to host you here in person. Today is your day. Each of you has put significant effort into the achieving the goal of the entering medical school and preserve even in the midst of the global pandemics. Um, I'm sure that your parents are very proud. Parents, congratulations to you too. Today, ceremony is very close to my heart. As I recall the white coat ceremony for my own about a few years ago in medical school, I too remember feeling a deep sense of joy as you feel today. I'm delighted to welcome you all to Evelyn family. You joined a school that continues to receive global recognitions for the quality of uh, medical education. You are committed to social justice. Some of you became motivated to become a physician based upon illness in your family. And some of you have a, co a complete personal story uh, of resilience that I would love to hear more about it one day. This ceremony is important because it provides opportunity to reflect on what it means to, to be done in the white coat and join the order of a physicians. As you begin your journey today in medicine, I wish you all the, the best in your efforts in advance to practice the science and the joy of medicines for the good humanity. You will certainly face your share of the uh, challenges, but ultimately it will be exciting and rewarding. Personally, I look forward to watching you with excitement, all that you will accomplish while you are Evelyn students and as a future doctors. Again, congratulations, and I wish you the best. Thank you.
Great. Thank you very much, Dr. Tariq. Our final speaker for this evening is Dr. Satish Arja, the Dean of Avalon University School of Medicine. Please give him a warm welcome. Good evening, everyone. Dear distinguished guests, Minister of Health, Environment and Nature, and also he is the Minister of Finance, Mr. Xavier Silvania, President Dr. Samir Fateh, Inspector General of Health, Dr. Kaley, students, parents, faculty, staff, and administration. And also, we would like to uh, give a warm welcome to our Ohio staff member, Hannah, also is here. Thank you so much for everyone. And I want to add my warm welcome to the Avalon University School of Medicine White Court Ceremony in May 2023. And also, I would like to give special thanks to the Minister of uh, Health, Nature, and Environment for attending this event. And also, we would like to thank him for supporting us during the accreditation process. You know, we had uh, this agreement between CAMHP and uh, Curacao. And the CAMHP accreditation people asked us, should we go to the government office to sign the agreement? No, 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 the ministry is coming here. So you don't need to go there. They were thrilled and surprised to see such kind of cooperation from the government of Curacao. We would like to thank you from the bottom of heart on behalf of our students and uh, administration. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> to the students taking the white coat and Hippocratic oath, we are proud of you. You have achieved outstanding success by going through difficult process and working hard. You are entitled to study in one of the best medical schools with the strongest education program in the Caribbean. You will have another challenging and exciting four years. I know your families will be with you, support you, and trust you endlessly, as they have always done. You will now wear your white coat. Thus, starting medical school, being a medical student, taking the first step into medicine, and being a large family member will be symbolically expressed. You will wear your white coat sim to symbolize purity, equality, professionalism, and trust. You will carry it with awareness of your professional privilege, but with assurance that you always use this privilege to benefit your patients and society. By choosing a medical school, you have not only stepped into an important profession, you also stepped into a lifestyle that requires hard work under difficult conditions, but is highly satisfying. Of course, your educational journey will not be limited to four years and will continue after graduation as a lifelong learner. We'll always be with you throughout your entire journey. We are responsible for ensuring that you make the best use of all university's facilities for your education and professional development and personal development. And an excellent medical student takes full advantage of all the opportunities offered by the university, the medical student asks many questions and seeks answers to these questions. We know very well that it is impossible to be a good physician of the future only by acquiring academic knowledge, a profession in, in which it is essential to value human beings, respect human dignity and rights, wish well for all humanity and others, undoubtedly requires a development far beyond acquiring academic knowledge. Having ethical and human values, being a good team member, and communicating well are essential. And it is only possible to discuss good physicians with all these qualities. Likewise, you will follow the rules and guidance of science. To achieve this, from the first years of our education, you will take mandatory courses on the scientific approach, evidence-based medicine, critical appraisal of evidence, and conducting and sharing results, such as epidemiology, biostatics, and evidence-based medicine courses. In this sense, we want you to take full advantage of the university's research opportunities. The main health problems of society and the social determinants of health and diseases will be at the center of your education and later in your professional life. And of course, future physicians will work according to the developing technology. The use of appropriate technology is a significant issue for future physicians. Medical faculties aim to train good physicians and scientists. Wherever you go and work after graduation, we want you to have no difficulties with your responsibilities. Whether you work in a primary care or a residency trainee in any specialty, we want you to be fully prepared and competent. We emphasize our students' active participation 
in our school's decision-making process and school's governance. This is much more possible if you take responsibility and work for the development of our educational program. Student representatives actively participate in all university standing committees of Avalon University School of Medicine and contribute to the university. Claim your education and take responsibility for improving it. Before I finish my message to the new students, I would like to say three things that is very important for all of you. Please do not take admission into medical school as a privilege. Please take it as a responsibility and work hard. Communicate as and when required. And it's very important, communication with your colleagues, peers, faculty members, patients, maybe in future patients, families, and even the standardized patients starting from MD1. It is very important. Communication is very important. You should use it as and when required. And be an empathetic medical student and also be an empathetic physician. These are the three things that I would like to request all new students to practice in your daily learning and training. Dear students, I wish you all successful and enjoyable academic journey. We will always be with your journey. But before finishing my speech, I would like to thank few people because I may not get this opportunity again to thank these people. The reason is, you know, all of you know that we had a CAMHP accreditation site visit last semester. And our staff and administration and faculty members have done extremely good job. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank all these people. And I'm sure you know uh, all our current students and uh, even every one of you know that we are one of the four medical schools in the Caribbean which are accredited for six years. We are accredited by ACCM for six years. And uh, I think there are only four medical schools in the Caribbean which are accredited for six years. There are around 70 to 80 medical schools in the Caribbean, but we are one among the four who have accreditation for six years. Apart from that, we are also accredited by ACCM and CAMHP, and both accreditation bodies which are recognized by the World Federation of Medical Education. I believe that we are the only one medical school in the Caribbean which are accredited by both ACCM and CAMHP. Definitely, this is not possible without students, staff, administration, and faculty members. I would like to thank each and everyone. Please give a good round of applause for our students and uh, faculty members. And as an accreditation process, we need to go for accreditation site visit for CAMHP. And we did the re-accreditation site visit last year. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank my faculty members and administration and staff members. I would like to ask, to begin with, Dr. Bala, who is our Dean of Basic Sciences. She handled most of the portions of what you call a accreditation site visit during the CAMHP site visit. Please, Dr. Bala, please come. And she is a professor of pharmacology, and she did PhD in public health, master's in pharmacology and toxicology from University of, uh, I believe, Michigan State University. And I would like to thank Dr. Bala for your tremendous support during those one week during the accreditation site visit. Thank you. And I will go the department-wise. I would like to call Dr. Suma, who is our uh, pro uh, professor of pathology, and she is part of uh, diseases, immunity, and therapeutics department. And also, she is the chair of the promotions committee. She handled it very well during our, uh, what you call, accreditation site visit. And I, I am sure all of you know that how promotions committee plays an important role in the accreditation process. She did a very good job. And I would like to call from the same department, Dr. Rohit Kumar, who is uh, my uh, course director for microbiology. And he did his PhD in microbiology from India. And uh, he is part of, we're also part of promotions committee, and I believe even emergency management committee. Right, Dr. Rohit? Thank you so much, Dr. Rohit, for your support during the process. And we would like to call uh, human structure and function department, Dr. Praveen Kotathvitil. And he is a PhD in physiology from India, and he worked in many countries, including China and Yemen. And finally, he's here. And he handled disciplinary committee, curriculum committee, and uh, also part of the admissions committee. Thank you so much, Dr. Praveen, for your uh, effort, uh, efforts. And from uh, the same department, we have, I believe, Dr. Ala. She is a, a senior lecturer in the histology course, and uh, she is also part of promotions committee and research committee, I believe. Thank you, Dr. Ala, for your uh, support during the accreditation site visit. You know, I would like to go for uh, mind and brain behavior department. We have Dr. Shamlov, and he is a neuroscience professor, and he did MD from uh, Ukraine, and he did PhD in anatomy, and he is working for us for the last seven, eight years. Thank you, Dr. Shamlov. And he is also part of the 
Promotions Committee and uh, uh, Research Committee. And I would like to call uh, Dr. Reshma Fateh. She is graduate of Avalon University School of Medicine itself. And she did master's in psychology and she's working for behavioral science course in uh, mind brain behavior department. And also she is the chair of admissions committee and uh, associate dean of admissions. Thank you so much, Dr. Reshma. And I would like to call uh, our next department, uh, clinical skills department. And I'm part of clinical skills department. And also we have uh, Dr. Tariq Ahmad. Come, Dr. Tariq. And uh, he did MBBS from Sudan, and uh, later on he did uh, his fellowship from Clinical Skills Department in St. George's University. And he's part of what you call Research Committee and also Emergency Manage Committee. And he represented our Avalon University School of Medicine to the accreditation team for Clinical Skills Department. Thank you, Dr. Dari, for your efforts. And uh, I would like to call Epidemiology and Biostatistics Department, Dr. Jonathan Lambo. And he did his uh, MD and PhD also, and he is well versed with research and epidemiology. Thank you, Dr. Lambo, for representing the uh, research committee. I think he represented the research committee for accreditation team. Thank you so much, Dr. Lambo. I would like to call also uh, my friend and Avalon's friend, and who is also teaching uh, epidemiology and biostatics, Dr. Sirwin Kelly who is also Inspector of Public Health. And uh, he represented us as uh, associate, uh, what you call Dean of Research for us. And we thank you so much, Dr. Kelly, for your hard work and also your dedication towards Avalon University School of Medicine. Thank you so much. And I would like to call Dr. Amin uh, also, and he is our uh, Chief Operating Officer and Chief IT Officer. He represented library and IT departments for accreditation teams. Thank you, Dr. Amin. And uh, if I'm not missing anyone, maybe if Ms. Sherissa is there. Uh, Dr. Kumar, please come, Dr. Kumar. Molecular basis of uh, what you call medicine. Dr. Kumar, he represented us for uh, uh, research committee and promotions committee. Thank you so much, Dr. Kumar. One of the most hardworking guys, I would say that. And uh, I would like to also call, uh, Ms. Sherissa is there, and she took care of the accreditation team during their, the whole three, four days. She gave the good hospitality, and they don't want to leave her, actually, by the time they are leaving. If Ms. Sherissa is there, okay, no problem. I, maybe she might be busy with some other stuff. And also, we have uh, our lab assistant, uh, Ms. Mardi Elizabeth. She also represented us. For, for for accreditation with site visit. And I would also like to call our, our uh, part-time faculty members, staff members, uh, psychologist, Ms. Martha, please come. And also uh, our campus nurse, uh, Mrs. Simi, please come. And uh, the only reason why I thought I should be calling them today for if I forget anybody, please forgive me. And if anybody else is here from uh, Avalon staff and faculty members, please uh, join with us. And it's a great moment for all of us. And we did a great job with accreditation site visit. And I'm sure, uh, no, I can't call Dr. Samir. He's my boss. Uh, I'm not his boss. He's my boss. So I definitely, I, I can't call him. But one thing I would like to tell about Dr. Samir, he's a great leader. and. Uh, all of you know that he is very soft spoken and gentleman. And you can find as a president, you know, very rarely you see the presidents involving in uh, each individual student issues or case by case. But definitely he will be joining with us when we are making the decision for even one student if they have any financial issues or if they have any hardship. He's the first person who will come forward and to help the students. And I, I believe, and I think during the orientation, Oh, Ms. Kim is also here. Please join Ms. Kim if you are here. And definitely I would like to add one word, one more word for Dr. Samir, which was mentioned in the orientation that what you call, he is a very caring person. And the reason for him being a caring person is because he can understand you. He doesn't judge the people. He tries to understand the people and try to help them as much pos as possible and caring person. Thank you so much, Dr. Samir, for your leadership and caring personality. 
end, I just would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you. And I'm not sure whether I get another opportunity like this again or not, because we will move on with accreditation and we will move on with what you call new accreditations coming up. But I would like to take this opportunity just to thank you from the bottom of my, my heart for your efforts and hard work that you have shown from the beginning, your tenure with Avalon, but especially during the accreditation site visit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of you. And uh, just I would like to finish my speech for tonight. And I wish you all the best for all new students. Congratulations to each one of you. And work hard. And sky is the limit for your success. But there is no shortcut for medicine. There is only one way that you can be successful is by working hard. Take the advice from the faculty members. This I was mentioning even during the orientation also. If you work hard by yourself, you can reach what you call to a certain level. But if you take the experience of other people and the knowledge from the faculty members, you can reach the sky and your success. There is no limit for your success. And I wish you all the best. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much to Dr. Arjay, and thank you very much to all our great faculty. That concludes our speeches for today, and we would like to commence the Excellence Award Ceremony. To present the award this evening, we have a special guest, Ms. Hannah Charles Westover, to the, uh, and I would like to welcome her to the stage. Ms. Hannah, Ms. Hannah is Avalon's Senior Admission Specialist and Dorm Leasing Coordinator, who works out of the Ohio office. So please give her a warm welcome. We would also like to welcome MD3 students Justine and Liba to the stage to help with the presentation of our awards. All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. So the first two awards will be given out by uh, Mr. Javier Salvania, Minister of Health, Nature, and Environment, and the Minister of Finance for Curacao. So the award will be given out for achievement in the following MD1 courses for the molecular basis of medicine and human structure and function. Okay. We would like to congratulate Ibrahim Imkunle and Kafayat Razak. Please join us on the stage for your awards. And then is Cafe out here tonight? No? Okay, not a problem. The next award, award will be rewarded for achievement in clinical skills and epidemiology courses in MD1. And for that, we're going to welcome up Mark Petersky. So congratulations, Mark. Okay, so congratulations to our MD1 award recipients. And then the next set of awards will also be given for uh, achievement in MD2 courses by Dr. Kelly.
No? Talk to Kelly? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So this recipient is receiving the award for achievement, the awards for achievement for the following courses, mind, brain, behavior, molecular basis of medicine, evidence-based medicine, and clinical skills. This one's super easy. So congratulations, Justine Almeida. And then the next award is for the Human Structure and Function course, as well as Mind, Brain, Behavior course in MD2. And that will be going to Glory and Yeji. So congratulations, Glory. All right, thank you very much, Hannah, for announcing the MD1 and 2 awards. The following MD3 awards are going to recognize achievement in the Evidence-Based Medicine 2 course. Congratulations to Victor Echo. <laughs> The final MD3 award is for recognized achievement in the following MD3 courses, clinical skills, mind, brain, and behavior, and disease, um, disease immunity and therapeutics. Um, congratulations, Shelly Jane. All right, thank you very much. The MD4 awards are going to be awarded by Dr. Samir Fateh and Dr. Kunzul Fateh for achievement in the following courses. Please welcome them to the stage. Thanks. So for the following MD4 courses, Diseases, Immunity, and Therapeutics, Evidence-Based Medicine, um, the awards will be going to Shita Vasudevan.
Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Sheeta Vasudevan. She's not here today. Um, the final MD4 award is for clinical skills four course. Congratulations, Diandi Figuri. All right, congratulations once again to all the award recipients. Now I would like to call Dr. Andrew because he will be giving out certificates for people that accomplish the um, basic surgical skills course. So please welcome to the stage. Our first certificate will be going for Christabel, so please give her a warm welcome. Our next certificate will be going for Nithya. So please give her a warm welcome. The next award recipient is Tanvi Kapandekar. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And finally, we have Hazim Musa. So now to kick things off, I would like to share a fun fact with all of you. Did you know that the white coat was originally introduced in the late 19th century as a way to protect doctors' clothing from blood stains? I guess we can all agree that medicine has come a long way since then. So, but there are some rules that come with wearing the white coat. For example, you can no longer spill your morning coffee on yourself without it being a major fox. And forget about using your white coat as a napkin. That's not good at all. But most importantly, remember that these coats come with great responsibility. You're not just wearing a piece of clothing. You're representing the medical profession and the trust that patients put in you. So wear your coats with pride, but also with humility and compassion. All right, finally, before we uh, commence the white coat ceremony, we forgot to announce one final award. So this is going to be for the Outstanding Faculty Award. I would like to call Dr. Arja up onto the stage. I'll do the honors. To give, okay, to give out that word, I would like to call out also Dr. Bala, please. <laughs> go 
All right, we apologize for the confusion, but to present the award, can we have um, Minister, please join us on the stage to present the award to Dr. Arja for Outstanding Faculty. <laughs> All right, so once again, congratulations to Dr. Arja for winning the Outstanding Faculty Award. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> All right, so that's enough serious talk for today. Let's get on with the ceremony. Congratulations to all of you, and let's celebrate this important milestone in your journey to becoming a doctor, a, phys a physician, and a healthcare professional. So can we get a round of applause, please? <laughs> To give our incoming class their white coats, I would like to call up on Mr. Um, Mr. Devier, Sylvania, and Dr. Samir Fateh, and Dr. Servin Kali to the stage, please. Our first white coat will be going for Abraham Chris. So please give him a warm welcome. Next on up, we have Muhammad Ahmed. Next on up, we have Muhammad Ali. Next on up, Sarah Almarwada. Sushrat Das.
Angela Dupuy. Kayana Fazo Rasker. Hafsa Farah. Ibrahim Ibequin. Amina Emron. Coyo Eto Vener Lahing Mustaba Mohammed. Nancy Christy Nelson. Ulu Ulu Kimisola Olabi. Diana Senior Crosby. Deepak Roy Chaudhary.
محمد شریف Manjot Singh. Bhavani Saxena. Miak Tahir Bright Taraki Laurentia Yagoji. And finally, Muhammad Yar. All right, looking good, everyone. So now for the next segment of this ceremony, I would like to call all of the students that had their white coat now to recite their Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Oath is the most widely known Greek medical text. All right, thank you for joining us on the stage, Dr. Kelly, Dr. Fateh. Thank you very much. <laughs> The Hippocratic Oath requires a new physician to swear upon a number of healing gods that they will uphold a number of professional and ethical standards. Joining us on the stage is the Dean of Basic Sciences, Dr. Sari Shabala. Please give her a warm welcome. All right, so the students who just received their white coat, you guys can make your way back up on stage. Thank you. Thank you. New student doctors, please, onto the stage, please. Yes. Just squeeze down a little, please. Thank you. Stay in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, you can stay. Okay, thank you so much. It is very good to see you all. Um, so now it's the time for the Hippocratic Oath. I would want you to please raise your right hand, please, for me. All of you, please. Yes. So I'm going to tell you the Hippocratic Oath. And after every phrase, 
you have to say I do. So the first one, I publicly acknowledge and accept the privileges and responsibilities given to me as a physician in training and dedicate myself to provide care to those in need. Louder, please. I will approach all aspects of my education with honesty and integrity, embracing the opportunities to learn from patients, teachers, and colleagues. I will always maintain the highest standards of professional conduct. I will certify only that which I have personally verified and will, I will neither receive nor give unauthorized assistance on examinations. I will respect the humanity, rights and decisions of all the patients and I will attend them with compassion and without bias. I will not forget that medicine is an art as well as science and that warm sympathy and understanding are integral to patient care. I accept the responsibility to improve the standard of health in my community, to increase the access to care for the underserved, and to advance the medical knowledge. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Thank you so much, and congratulations once again. And I would want to wish you all for a pleasant and rewarding journey at Avalon. Take have a thank you. Great, congratulations students. You have officially begun your medical school journey. So that concludes today's program. Once again, we would like to emphasize the importance of the white coat sermon. The white coat reminds physicians of their professional duties as prescribed by Hippocrates to lead their lives and practice their art in uprightness and honor. Moreover, it's a symbol of our profession. Donning of the white coat is a central tra uh, tradition. It originated in scientific laboratories and was adopted as a standard dress for all physicians who incorporate scientific principles in the practice of medicine. As for students, it serves as an important motivator and remains a reminder that we are one step closer to achieving our goals of becoming practicing physicians. So let's congratulate our first year students on receiving their white coats once again. Always. <laughs> always remember that your white coat symbolizes perfectionism, professionalism, leadership, and a commitment to patients' care. It's like a superhero cup, but instead of flying, you save lives. You'll be head to a higher standard, so don't forget to practice your best bedside manner. And please, no superhero capes. We're excited to work with each and every one of you as we progress through medical school, and we will look forward to working with you, our colleagues, in the near future. Congratulations again, and welcome to the Avalon family. Thank you. Before we go out for dinner, I would like to call all the students that got their white coat back on the stage for their photo. So please come on the stage. I would like to also call all faculty up on the stage. So can you please join us on the stage?
All right. So that concludes our program for tonight. Uh, dinner will be served outside in the main area very soon. So please help yourselves. All right. Go. Let's go.